everyone, I am Zaikum Wajahat from class 5th and I have made this line following robot as my robotics project. This year due to coronavirus it was a nice experience learning all the stuff about robotics. I have used the Arduino Uno and Motor Shield to build this. Main reason of using Motor Shield was because it made the coding in this quite easier. Also I am using these IR sensors so that it can track any black colored line made by us. The main reason of this robot is to be fun and entertaining. In factories, these robots are used to carry heavy loads to any destination point by following the line made by its users. These are the two IR sensors used to detect the line on the surface. They give this information to the Arduino Uno and then it tells the motors how to work. I have also added a free wheel for it to control its balance and these motors help it to move left and right. While it moves right, the left tire will freeze while the right tire moves forward. This is how it is Hello friends, my name is Saeed Minha Jusain and I am studying in class 60 at Delhi Public School, Srinagar. In this lockdown, our school started the classes of robotics that were very interesting and uh, the things kept going on, going on and going on and finally uh, I made a robotics project. I got the idea of making the project when I was one day uh, searching on web that how many accidents have been caused uh, due to fire. So there I got the result that 50% of accidents have been caused to, due to fire. So I thought we should make a machine that will uh, uh, without no help of human extinguish fire. So I made a firefighting robot. In this we have this Arduino UNO and a, a Bluetooth module HC05 and a water pump which is used to throw water on the fire and a fire sensor and a L293 d module and a breadboard and uh, two motors at the back which are used to go right left and a uh, one free wheel. When these two motors move this uh, free wheel also move. When this fire sensor sends the fire this water pump turns on and it starts throwing water on the fire and extinguish the fire. This robot can be controlled through Bluetooth. Hello everyone, I am Musa Iqbal from 7D studying in Delhi Public School, Srinagar and today I will present uh, Automatic Railway Gate Control System. Uh, automatic Railway Gate Control System uh, is a very simple but very useful project uh, in uh, which uh, uh, it uh, detects the arrival and departure of the train and opens the railway gate. It is an automatic uh, railway gate control system which uh, consists of uh, two IR sensors, one Arduino UNO, breadboard, an IC and a DC motor. Uh, uh, automatic railway gate uh, control uh, system is a very simple but uh, useful uh, project. Uh, it uh, opens and uh, closes uh, the uh, uh, opens and closes the railway uh, gate uh, upon detecting the arrival or uh, departure of the train. I am Mustafa Soeb Ghani and today I am going to show you an obstacle avoiding robot. This is an obstacle avoiding robot which consists of an Arduino UNO, L293 d motor driver, ultrasonic distance sensor and two batteries. The Arduino UNO controls the whole project. The sensor measures the distance between the obstacle and the uh, sensor. These batteries power up the L293 d IC and Arduino and this IC controls the two DC motors.
Hello everyone, uh, my name is Maria Iqbal uh, from Delhi Public School, City Nagar. Uh, I am a class 7 student uh, and the name of my project is uh, Bluetooth Control Electronic Appliances. Uh, Bluetooth Control uh, Electronic Appliances uh, is a very simple project in which we can control electrical appliances and electronic devices uh, by using uh, an Android device with the help of Bluetooth technology. Uh, the components using uh, this project uh, are uh, Arduino UNO, a Bluetooth module, uh, two DC motors, uh, a breadboard. My name is Adina Nisar and today I am going to present my project which is, uh, which is a house cleaner robot. This robot helps us to clean our houses, mostly the surfaces like kitchen, corridors and other places. And this robot has a cleaner in front of it which rotates when you switch on it. And here uh, uh, with the help of our Arduino and motors it moves forward and backward. Uh, the advantages of this robot are that uh, it does not need much of human efforts and you can do more important work at site while cleaning your house. In this project I have used one Bluetooth, one Arduino, one nl 293 d three motors and, uh, and one battery. This Arduino is the brain of this robot and it, uh, it does all the controls. Uh, this Bluetooth helps us to connect to our phone. Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Aban Rishi and today I am here with my project. This is a human follower robot. When a person keeps his hand in front of the sensor, it moves towards his hand. But when that person keeps his hand close to the sensor, it moves backwards. This robot uses an ultrasonic distance sensor, an Arduino UNO, L293 DIC, breadboard and two gear motors with wheels. I am Mohsen Nasir, studying in Delhi Public School, Srinagar. Today, I am going to share my project with you. This is my project. It is an artificial intelligent gardening system. This is an artificial intelligent gardening system. The materials that are used to make this are one Arduino Uno, that's the brain of the system, one DC motor that can help to cut grass, that wheels that can that can help to move it forward backward right or left and a d and a dc pump which can help to water the plants and i have also used a bluetooth module hc05 which can help to control it with phone and the ic's l293d is used to make the motors more controllable 